Hi, welcome to my channel. It's Jess with Love to Plan with Jess, and today we are prepping for Cyber Week in my planner. I am so excited for Cyber Week, um, and I will explain what these blank dot grid papers are for, um, but I'm gonna just get started on decorating while we do that. Okay, so I have two plain pages of dot grid paper, and what my plans are for these pages um, is to have one page that's going to have kind of like my wish list of the things that I would like to get for Cyber Week. Um, and then also I want to put on this page the different stores that I plan to purchase from. Um, and that way I can keep an eye out for um, the sales that are, going, that are going to be happening for Cyber Week. Now I know a lot of times sales will be announced, you know, early ahead of time. And if they don't get announced ahead of time and they're just announced on Black Friday, um, I still want to put them in my planner. That way um, I can keep this for next year and I can kind of have like an idea of what the sales were like this year for next year. Um, and I know that, you know, the the stores, especially the small shops, aren't going to have like the same exact deals, um, but it can kind of give you an idea, right, of, of maybe what to expect. And then on the right side, on this side, um, I'm going to create like a tracker. So it'll be the things that I purchase and uh, how much money I spend and then um, tracking, you know, once they are delivered. So I just started by putting some decorative stickers in the corners just to get something on the page. And now um, I have some washi that I'm just ripping down the middle. And maybe we'll just put this at the top. So is everybody excited for Cyber Week? I love shopping Cyber Week. I mean, I love shopping in general, but I feel like it's so fun to shop on Cyber Week with all the deals and all that jazz. So I'm really excited to do some shopping. Okay, I have um, Kelva Plan Alpha Basics and I'm gonna spell out Cyber Week on the top. And I thought that I would maybe use these letters. Um, I love the Kelva Plan Alpha Basics book. Um, but some of the the letters in here are so big and I don't feel like I could really use them in my planner. I mean, I could, but like that I don't feel like I would use them in my planner as much as the smaller ones. So um, I feel like a, you know, a sheet like this is perfect to, to use some of these fun big letters. So I'm just taking my ruler and I'm going to spell out um, Cyber Week here just so that I can get an idea of placement for where I want to put these letters. All right, so I have Cyber Week on my ruler. Now these stickers um, are great to color in um, and it definitely adds a lot to the page, but I was looking at all of my different, you know, markers and mob liners um, and I couldn't really find a color that I liked, so um, I'm just gonna leave them white this time. Uh, so I think that we can put cyber right here. So I'm just gonna take this B and we're gonna just stick it right in the middle of the page. Now the great thing about using a ruler, there are two reasons that I like to use a ruler. One is just to have the spacing so that you can move it around and space it uh, where you want it. But another way, and I might do it with the word week to show you, is um, you can have everything lined up and then put it all down at once. Um, the reason I'm not doing it, uh, especially with the cyber word, is because these letters are really big. So I feel like it might be more difficult. Plus this word is kind of in the way to do it on this side. So um, I'm just gonna put these down by hand. Okay, that's cute. Um, spacing's not perfect, but that's okay. Okay, now I have the word week spaced out on my ruler and um, I can show you what I uh, was referring to before where you can sort of put these all down at the same time. So uh, I wanna get it kind of even. 
and then you just sort of lay them all down and then peel off the bottom. Okay, now we're gonna go in with some boxes. I have Autumn Boxes 2.0 um, from Mojo Jojo. And I'm gonna use these two colors, this like copper color and then this beige color. Um, now I noticed that with this copper one, um, the copper will kind of rub off. So you have to be really careful uh, when putting these down and especially if you try to like put it down and then remove it again it doesn't usually work out so well so um have to be pretty careful with with uh with the the sticker so i'm gonna put it down like right here and try and get it straight because like i said i don't want to have to um pull it up because i don't want to mess up the the copper on there. Okay, now this sticker is going to be my wish list. So we can get a little header and put wish list right here. Okay, now in my wish list, I'm going to put things that are not um, like planner related. Like my son needs a new pair of like snow boots this season. So, you know, I'm gonna, um, I wanna put that in there. Um, I need like a new flat iron for my hair, like things like that. Um, that will go in that wish list box. Um, and then in these boxes, um, I'm going to put the different shops that I wanna purchase from. So this box is a, a fairly big box um, and this is going to list the different tea companies that I wanna purchase from. So I'm a big tea drinker. Um, and so there are three, three stores that I will likely be purchasing from on Black Friday, or at least be, you know, looking out for sales and seeing what they have to offer. Um, so I'm gonna put three dots in here, and that way I can put the stores. Um, if you're interested, the stores are David's Tea, snarky tea and old barrel tea company so those will go in here and i'll list out the company name and then i'll list like what the sale is in that box and then the rest of the boxes in here are going to be for like individual uh planner companies so we're going to have uh definitely a box for happy planner and maybe we can put that one like up here I'm trying to use these dots to make it straight. Okay, so that one will be for Happy Planner. Um, and then I'm also going to check out a bunch of the small shop um, sales. So I'm just going to put like a, a bunch of boxes in here. Um, let's put like one here. This one might be for like Live Love Posh. Um, I definitely want to check out, that's really crooked, and with this one, this one I can maybe, let's see if I can fix it. Um, okay, and then we can have another one, and this will maybe be like an Amber Plans Her Day. Um, I haven't purchased much from Amber Plans Her Day, and so I may take advantage if she has um, a good cyber sale. I may take advantage and um, purchase from her. Um, I definitely will be checking out Mojo Jojo. Um, should we put it this way? Maybe like this. Um, as you can see, I am using one of her books right now. Um, I love her box books. And then I'll put another one here. Um, probably take a look at maybe like Wrong Wrong or JoJo's Pretty Paper Shop. Um, there's a whole bunch of small shops that I like to, to shop at and to support. So that's what those boxes will be. Uh, now we have a space here and I thought that I would put one of these girls in there and this one to me sort of looks like she's judging me and so I'm gonna put that right here and she's going to be 
watching me and judging my spending. So maybe it will uh, remind me not to overspend. We'll see. Probably not. Okay, so I have everything that I need like function wise on this page. I will decorate it a little bit more, but let's move over to this page and let me make sure that we're still in frame. Okay, so I'm gonna scooch this over a little bit and we're gonna go to this page. So what we're gonna do over here is we're gonna have three different categories. Um, and I think I'll put those down first just so that I can get the spacing down. I thought about maybe doing four categories. So the three categories I'm gonna have are gonna be the company that I purchased from, the amount I spent, and when it was delivered to me, like when I received it. Either put the date or like a check mark. If you wanted to do four categories, you can also add one, a box for when it ships, and you can put like the date that it shipped so you can kind of track the shipping. So I'm going to put this, and I wanna make sure that I have plenty of space. So I think I will put this one here and I'm gonna use these dots for spacing purposes. Okay, so there is one and then we can put this one here. This will be for the amount that I spend, which hopefully won't be a fortune and then this one will be for that I you know confirm that I received the the order next I think I'm going to draw in some lines in here and create sort of like a grid and I might do that off camera um, so I'm going to draw the lines in and then I'll be right back Okay, I'm back. I put my grid in here and um, it's not perfect, but it is good enough. And now I think I'm just gonna put in like some of these just bullets uh, to add a little fun. And now how many did I make? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I sincerely hope that I don't have 10 orders um, it, during Cyber Week, but you know, it's very possible, very possible. I, I recall making multiple um, orders from different companies last year. So even if I don't order from 10 different companies, there, there may be multiple orders from the same one. And in that case, I would put them in a separate box just because it's gonna be a separate shipment. So I wouldn't wanna to track that separately. Okay, now I wanna put another girl in here. Um, I can try and fit one up here at the top. I'm not sure if uh, she'll fit. I might have to cut part of her body because I definitely don't wanna cut her head off. Okay, I think we're gonna cut, um, cut her down a little bit. I'm so sorry, pretty lady, but we are going to cut you down to make you fit better in here. There we go. I like that. Now I have two girls judging me during Cyber Week. Okay, so now let's um, put a little more decoration on the page and I think we can we can call it. Okay, so I have some leaves that we can put in here. Can you see what I'm doing? Yeah, let me scooch this over a little bit. Put some leaves in, maybe there, and then maybe here. This will can kind of help break up the cult the that these two are the same color. And maybe we can put this like here and here. There's a, this that looks like it would um, look really cute in the corner. So we'll put this one here. I like that. It's a little crooked. So instead of 
trying to fix it. I'm just gonna cut that excess off. Uh, let's put a little bit of washi down on the bottom too. Okay, and then we can put the washi down here on this side. And then we can put some um, over here on this side. Whoa. I think that's really cute. I could put something up here. So from this page that I was working with, um, there's this coffee cup. It's kind of big though. So I would definitely have to cut it. There's also this piece of pie. Maybe we'll put that up there. It's a little bit smaller and so I think it'll fit better up here. There we go. Now we have space along the bottom and there's like this small little like house scene and a couple of these trees and this little gate, maybe we'll do like a little scene across on the bottom. And that will fit, that will fit okay over here. Um, it's gonna go into the box a little bit, but that's okay. I can still, um, I'll still have plenty of room to, to write. Okay, and then there's a gate and then these trees. I think I'm gonna put the trees in here first in the middle and then maybe this little gate down here. And then I need one more tree. The only problem is that the other two trees that are in here are cut on the side. So that's not ideal. Let's see if there's anything else that I can put in there. I guess what I can do is I can try and move them all over Okay, I think that's really fun. I have a couple more leaves on like a different page in here. This um, this page is just some leaves. So uh, put that there and then maybe one for like right here. Maybe like that. Okay guys, I think we're done. This came out super cute. I really like it. Um, I'm super excited to write in it. I'm even more excited to do some Cyber Week shopping. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope that maybe it gave you an idea of maybe how you can create some kind of tracking sheet for your Cyber Week purchases or even to keep an eye on the sales and maybe utilize that for next year to sort of get an idea of what the sales were like this year. Um, so if you liked my video, if you could hit that like button, that would be great. And if you want to see more of my videos, please subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next time. Bye.